Here we go, boys. Episode 118, and it's a one in front of an 18. You know who number 18 is in North Melbourne? Wayne Carey, the greatest football of all time. And I'd just like to say to uh, what's the casino, Mato, over in uh, WA? Uh, the Crown. Oh, they can get fucked. They don't know anything. Don't you know every person with arthritis carries around a little baggie full of white powder? Like everybody <laughs> crushes their anti inflammatories to throw you down with a body Red Bull when you're playing a bit of blackjack. Like, I don't care who you are. But anyway, it's episode 118. A bit of a shout out to Wayne. Hopefully you're watching. If not, um, like you said to me back in 1996 with Corey McKernan, fuck off, cunt. That's what he told me. So good on you, Wayne. I love you. But anyway, Tone, 118. Welcome to the show. How you feeling, big boy? Oh, yes. All set. Ready to tip a couple of winners, maybe. And uh, yeah, all ready to go. Big weekend coming up. Mate, I call this preliminary final weekend, Tazzy. Preliminary final weekend. This is Derby Day. This is the dream day for any punter. Every race is stakes group or listed at the Flemington race course at headquarters. So every race is an opportunity to do our ass. Is that what you're telling us? Basically, is that what you're saying if you if you like put a line through it, if you like Value Town, you will find it on Derby Day because everybody is trying. Because all the fillies are looking for black type, all the mares are looking for black type, and all those stupid geldings are uh, cherry ripe. So, yeah, it's pretty hard to put a line through any of them this week. And we welcome the great man himself, Pitbull, Mr. Worldwide, the ticket conductor. Here he is, Marto. No, no, no. He's, in tone. he's in your neck of the woods recently, the, the UK man. He's, geez, yes, he's, he, yes, he's done very well, isn't he? Best bets are going well, well Marto. Best bets are doing well. I'm sticking my fingers in a couple of extra little pies there. Um, but, yeah, big weekend at Flemington, like you said. But let's not forget there's a um, a little race in Sydney oh, this weekend. About oh, 10 minutes prize money up for grabs called the Golden Eagle. Just, just, was a lazy, for Melbourne horses too. just a lazy 10 mil. Jesus Christ. How good is that? Hey, and where's, hey, Tony, where's <laughs> your favourite jockey, Jamie Carr, riding this weekend? I have no idea. Oh, She's come up to Sydney. Oh. I don't, she I used to be my favourite jockey, but I no, no, she's out the door. You're right. I should have no, 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 I've gone right off Jamie Carr. Uh, Jamie a Carr, no. Taz, why is Jamie Carr riding up in Sydney? She's not riding in Melbourne on Derby Day. It's a, it's a shock. It's a national it's disgrace. The morning can Airbnbs are actually out of action this weekend. They're all... <laughs> that, you've got it wrong. The reason that it's happening oh. is smart investment. It's an investment type move. Benny stays here. Jamie goes there. Ben, he's got a couple of good rides. Well, that, so way way, that, that way you share it around a bit. Mm. Now, that said, there's another guy that's come into Sydney too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's your favourite jockey, Tone. Oh. He's the best jockey in the world, isn't he? Oh, Who's shit. that? Oh, the shit. star, Frankie DeTore. Oh, no. <laughs> it's in oh. Sydney. How good is that? He's riding the gold medal. He's an absolute criminal. Oh. <laughs> what about your other your other favourite jock? You love another jock and have a British jock who's riding in Sydney on Saturday. Tony, be all over that. The initials are JS. JS. Oh, Jamie Spencer. Oh, did ride. Yeah, did Ken ride last ride. week. Can ride. He's on the favourite in the Golden Eagle. Tone, chance? Big chance. Oh. Yeah. I think he's one of those, he doesn't pull many up, but, you know, like, um, yeah, like, uh, well, they're all trying, aren't they, now? Because uh, they're the big races, the big group races and the listed races and whatever, so they're all going to have a crack. The money's there, you know, yeah, they want man. their slings, don't they? So, Jeez, I was sort of, you know. Taz, I was sort of hoping the UK boys might have been over, the UK jocks coming into uh, Sydney and uh, Melbourne, but it seems like only us two generics know what's going on, Tassie. Oh, look. <laughs> I do like the fact that uh, I think the name's Buick, oh, like the beautiful car. Will, will you? Has, will I reckon Buick? he's. I reckon he definitely rides a winner oh, down here in Melbourne. How good is we have the yes, W Buick yes, in Melbourne this yeah. weekend? How big is that? Yeah, I'm oh, throbbing. <laughs> and that's probably one of the other reasons that Jamie's gone going up north because Victorian racing is not big enough to have Buick and everyone else here at the same time. Can I say just one thing about Jamie Spencer? I know he's a really good job, and obviously you guys don't rate him because you don't know who he is, but he (laughs) came out and said, he came out and said, I'm on the best horse in the Golden Eagle. I'm going to win this race. Yeah. 
isn't it like refreshing to have somebody come out and go, geez, if we get a bit of luck and running, and if it's a speed map works well, and if I get a bit of luck here, and he's just come in and said, it's a lay down was there. Oh, it's, it. it's, it's the Taz of the jock, isn't it? Oh, it's the Taz. Well, it's, of the it's not, it, it is the Taz, or it's the Taz of the He's taken a leaf out of Gay Waterhouse's book because Gay many years ago used to exactly say it as it was. Yeah. And um, yeah. it's, it's I, good, I love it. good I to love see. It. I, hope, I, I hope he's right. I love it. Like, who's on Thunderstruck? Mickey Price? Remember Mickey Price last year said, oh, first up, can't win. Too fat. Yeah. Needs a run. Isn't that great? Like, just honesty. Pure honesty. Yeah, yeah. it's a bit of the it's SPS. Like the You're missing the SPS, you moron. What's that? Short person syndrome. They're all bloody midgets. Of course, they want to play the big man and the Tommy Tanker. You know, of course, they're going to say, you know, they can all say, I'm going to win on this horse, can't they? You know, but why don't <laughs> they? Running X Factor, you know. But why don't they say that? Yeah. Why is it more of it? No, what he's saying. No, Tony, I'm, saying, it's, I'm it's, saying I love it. Look honesty and, and some of these horses, oh, yeah. these, these good ones come out and they're actually honest about what the, what's going to happen. Yeah. yeah, some of them will bluff and bullshit you, but you want the ones that come out and say, "Look, this oh. one's no good to ride. We're going to give them a run." I love it. Oh, it's the best it's thing in the race. We're going to win. Oregon, well, you great. don't mind putting money money on when you think you know when they're saying things like that. Uh, for all the, the legends right. that have joined the familiar in the last week, uh, Monday night put a line through the uh, footy NFL. Tuesday we got the treasures. Not a great week this week, Tony. Shocker, absolute right. shocker. Nothing. Right, right. perfect. Uh, Pairs of speakers, not bad. One out of four. Got to play some pretty shit when you think about it. Um, Thursday night, we put out the YouTube show. Friday night, the Chucky Wheel comes through Adelaide because Taz uh, Cousins know who's going to win and whose birthday it is, and we spin the wheel, and it comes up with a couple yeah. winners like last weekend, Taz. Yeah, we got two winners in a second and one that went no good, but the one that went no good hits Mooney Valley tomorrow and is currently $3 favourite and one of your favourite jockeys, BV, oh. is coming over to ride it. So he's not staying in Adelaide. He's actually got two rides tomorrow at Mooney Valley. Have a look at him. Really? Yep. He's got two What's rides tomorrow. Yeah, well, I'm telling you now, $3 favourite is one of them. And the other one, I think it's uh, about eighteen dollars. Last start winner stepping up to about two thousand meters. Saturday's Have a look the at big, them. Okay, Saturday's a big day. Saturday's a big day because Tone's on fire. He's about four from eight, about fifty percent on the Saturday. Taz is going pretty well. He's about seven from sixteen, which is pretty good itself. Pez is about one from fifty six. But Marta, <laughs> Jesus, Marta. Christ, Marta, he's on fire. He's had two. <laughs> He's had two out of two, and then he's had nearly three out of three. But the great man, you didn't go. What was your horse's called, mate? Sharp and oh, smart. Smart. Sharp I didn't back smart. up on him. What is it? Oh, he's, 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 hey? I love it he because you still can't remember the name. Yeah, I'm just giving it to We were very close there, but sharp and smart. We should have stayed with him because he was yes. sharp. Yes. Yeah. If he's good back, Marto, he can oh, catch it. The familiar love yard. Evan Skins. You're a genius. But those Wait, New Zealand horses are going ball. really well this season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, it's been, yep, yep. It's been a while, but uh, they're, they're really think, good. This do you think it's going to eat up the derby at 2,500 on the wrong leg? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sold yeah, up, but I don't I'm know. I'm not sold either. Jeez, I mean, he looks strong in those first two races, but... Um, it's a bit I like Animo, isn't it? It just gets there, you know, it's not... It does. It just gets there. It just it's, does just enough. Yeah, but geez, Animo, you know. Geez, oh, but we don't know where his ceiling is, so... No. Uh, last week, episode 117 or 118, I've got up there. It should be 117, I think. Oh, I don't know. What an ever it is. Big boy, Roy Tone. Aussie Nugget, no good. No good. No good. Yeah, big boy, Roy. Uh, you know, <laughs> he could end up in one of those cans that says Tucker Box on the label. <laughs> 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 That's what's going to happen. That's what he better be careful of. Oh. Um, Aussie Nugget, Aussie you're a bit stiff, mate. You got a big bump around the corner. You got the big hit. He picked up yeah. the bit of the last fifty and just roared home. But um, Dardome's jockey, um, whoever it was, uh, he had no. He said, "No, nah, you're not getting any room here, Aussie." And he's yeah. cost the familiar some coin. But I wouldn't put a line through Aussie Nugget at all. Don't worry about that. I'll be backing up. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It did uh, it did get that bump and that was that mm. was the end of that. But you know, 
the big mistake was um, the big mistake that we all seemed to miss was, uh, uh, as Taz pointed out, uh, titanium power in the last. Oh. Where was it in Sydney? What about Luke and Bullard, Bella Nipotina? There we oh. go. Yes, yes. Tone. I, 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 I think Taz last week, Marto and Tone said, well, Tone said lay of the day. I think Marto yes. said put a, put a line through it. Put a line through it. So, um, Marto, well, Marto, yeah, Marto Tess, the last day. two weeks. Well, I've actually um, <laughs> I've credited another with the uh, Bella Nipotina push. I'm oh, sorry, Luke. It was you that's actually tipped it, yeah. mate. Yeah. Come to you. Well found yeah. there, buddy. Hey, Tess, Marto, if, Marto, if you... You go first and then I'll go. No, no, no. I'm, I'm waiting for you to come in. Oh, this is what I was going to say with Marto last week. We <laughs> said to him, Marto, it's great that you basically say that horses can't win and then everyone goes out and backs them. Love so it. thank you again, thank you again. for helping the Palti familiar to make thank money you, because they did it with Gaga Kick. Right, uh, they did it with Giga Kick. And then you did it. Giga so Kick this and week, Valentina. So this week. Thanks, Marto. The, the, they're all waiting. They're waiting for you to tell us which horse cannot win. So please, before we close up shop tonight, yes. tell us which one can't win please. so that we can all get on. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, Battleton. 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 Battleton was no good battle. for the Kiwi Suede. Absolutely no. uh, not much. Does he, uh, oh, no, it wasn't. No, no, hang on. Don't be, don't be like that. It ran second. Oh, it just didn't run in one race. <laughs> <laughs> it sort of went, it stopped, it's like, you know, and then it ran second. But anyway, yeah. we lost. No. Did it run second? Yeah. No, it fucking... Yes, it ran second, yeah. idiot. It ran second. Did it? Yes, mate. But didn't didn't he run it like he was going to go forward and then he yes, dropped it? Yes, and... yes, yeah. Oh, yep, he did all of that and it still hung on for second. It was shit, though. Well, it wasn't bad, <laughs> Well, you, yeah, but you, yeah, but you don't you don't win when you back them straight yeah. out for a second. Jeez, I jeez, having a bit of a senior moment there, Tony. Um, oh. Three out of four. Thank you for getting uh, Lukey Mullen pitch it. Thanks, mate. The rage is back this week, um, but uh, doesn't matter. And we go into straight into the meat and two veg. The man's on oh. fire. Two out of three, and he should have been three out of three if he stuck with that horse. What was that horse called again, Mutter? Sharp and smart. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, mate. And Star of India, number 10, race six, Star of India. There we go. Nice, we're getting on this one. He's coming up from um, the UK. Um, I'll tell you now, this is not a deep race in the uh, Rose Hill Cup, so it's not a big race to be up first up in Australia. Um, it says second up, but he ran uh, first up in France last month before Annabelle brought him out. And when they announced they were bringing him out to run in this cup, I well, jumped on at the $17. And I'll tell you why. Because... Um, back at uh, Chester, back in um, uh, May, he actually beat Cresta, which then came out later on in a group race and went second to light infantry, which is considered one of the best middle distance racing horses in the world. Wow. So he's beaten a horse that's run second to one of the best in the world for middle staying distances. He loves a bit of giving the track, which he's going to get. Um, it's forecast for a soft six. Hopefully we stay around there. Um, Gee. Yeah, look. He flies late. He will get back, and he does fly late, and we all know that Rose Hill lets you run on a bit. Yeah. And um, Annabelle Nishan's got <laughs> – she's, she's broken this horse. She's got yeah. big wraps on. I love it. Wow. Tony. Nice. She's Tony. He's rivaling you with the information he's given there. He's just, oh, it certainly just, is. Well, it's got, he's got Abdul the Butcher on it, and if he puts in a, a, an effort, he's mm. uh, he, you're going to certainly get it going. Abdul oh, the butcher. Don't worry yeah. about Abdul, mate. He's having a good spring already. Yeah. He's Annabelle, good. she's she's good trainer. She's a good trainer too, right? She, she's oh, yeah. just about there, isn't she? She's got a couple there knocking on the door, like old. I know you boys are all over Mazu. Uh, Taz and Mato were pretty yeah. keen on Mazu. Ran a good third, didn't it? I think. Um, it, I tell you what, mm -hmm. running the Everest, they were, I think it was bigger than Geiger Kick in the Everest yeah. because Geiger Kick pulled off heels and ran down the outside. Yeah. Mazu had to get through traffic. And yeah. um, for me, that actually rates a better run to be so close running third to behind Geiger Kick and uh, Private Eye in the Everest with the run it had. I think um, I don't think it's the best of Mazu, but we should see uh, that this weekend. Tazi, I'm all over Giga Kick because, um, quite frankly, yeah. um, Hong Kong wanted to buy it. David Hayes is absolutely yeah, I know. It because it was only rated as 63 and they thought it was too yeah. poor to get over there. And uh, Jesus Christ, have a look at Giga Well, Kick they should have done it. But, 
But why didn't but, they but just the, the, the billionaire? Why? The no, the poor billionaire yeah. owner said he's never going to sell it. The, the poor. But you know how you said it was rated at sixty three. Why don't yeah, they? Why didn't they just change the ratings? Because they yeah. do that in New South Wales. Unbelievable. Cardinal uh, Gem doesn't get a run mm. because they decided to change the ratings mm. of an overseas horse. If they can do it in Australia, sure. I think Cardinal Gem. Like, does it right? get it? Does it get a run now? First emergency. Yeah, I think I think someone scratched, so I think he's in. Okay, but it was yeah, pretty stiff fun. on them. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, so, race four, number seven, Ting Tong. Yeah, great name. Ting Tong. It is a great name, and I it guess is. we're staying in that um in that part of the world because with Marto going name. with India and I'm going with Ting Tong now. Ting Tong. But okay. How would you say? How would you say Ting Tong if you're like at the pub and you're with your mates? At the pub. And, and what well, would it you depends. Say? If, it depends how many you've had. Ting Tong. Yes. Ting Tong. Well, what would you say? Ting. I will, Let I it go, Tong. Like, you, know you know what I would just say? You know what I'd say? I would say, you bloody ripper, Ting Tong. Now get ting the tong. beers. They're on me. Because <sighs> it's just one. That's what I'd be saying. What about, now, let me tell you about, about this thing. Ting, ting Tong, the witch is dead or something. Or... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's next week if it runs third or fourth. Oh. Yeah, the um, look, the no, no, okay, I know, I want you, but say? you won't let me. If you said at the pub, Ting Tong, you sound like ting it. Ting Tong, a song. Yes, <laughs> right, right. Ting Tong, where's the bong? I don't know. What would you say? Like, <laughs> like, your mates are going to come up and they're going to cow with punch you in the back of the head. You know, <laughs> Ting Tong. You know, back in a business. <laughs> No, nah, I'll anyway. tell you what. Well, anyway, it's a race in four, and this gets the best map. So, look, back in May, this did meet this uh, the favourite Hemeron. It meets it now uh, two lengths, uh, sorry, two kilos better in the weights um, when it met in Gosford on Gosford Cup Day. Um, I just think this map's the best. Main stage should probably lead. Um, Pink Ivy will get out the back. Um, Hammeron will get caught on the fence, and Ting Tong. It tracks the best. It's an up and it's up and coming. It did win by I think about four and a half lengths last start over nineteen hundred on a heavy track. It's yep. going to pretty much get similar conditions. It's actually um, dropped in weight from last time. It's it, it's everything's there. Oh no, I don't think King anyone's Tom. missing anymore because mm-hmm. everyone's just trying to work out what they're going to say. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Gibbo will get it home, and Ting Tong, the witch, won't be dead. But there we go. Wizard of Oz. There we go. A bit of Wizard of Oz time. One of your favourite movies uh, that you saw when you were thirty-two. Look, for, for me, it just um, maps the best out of a, a race with only four chances. Ting Tong, Pink Ivory's dead. Like, Pink Ivory will be coming from the back. Oh, so let's just see how the race plans oh, out. And main stage is going to be at the front, as I said. And him on the fence, and I, Ting I, I Tong. Tell you what, I love Dylan Gibbons. He, 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 he wow. You know what? Oh, yeah, the last time world's as well. best jockeys there. I don't think uh, you'd be knocking Dylan back because Jesus. No, no. Awesome. This has come to the city race, and it's just yeah. on fire. Yeah. On fire. Coming to his own. But in this race, I mean, I do like oh. Ting Tong. And say oh. I don't like the favourite so much. I don't think yeah. it should be favourite. How could you not like um, Ting Tong? Yeah, you've got to love Ting Tong. Because like Taz says, he maps for the run of the race. But um, I think watch for Karma Zone late. And if you're playing exotics, put it in as places. So basically, Marto, what you're saying is Ting Tong oh, yeah. can't win. Love no, it. I didn't Thank say you. That. I didn't say, say that. It. Say I it, Marto. It. Just say <laughs> it. No, no, don't say it, Marto, because it's got to come from the heart. <laughs> you can't win. Like, no, he's saying, a fucking if idiot. you do play exotics. Oh, smell it. <laughs> You know, we need that motto. We need that pure honesty, uh, like of they can't win. We don't need Taz. No, I, I, I can't. I can't put a line through Tink Tong. That's a. It's a good chance. I can't put a line through Tink Tong. No, not this one. Oh <laughs> my god! I reckon that's Taz's fucking name. If he was like one of those boys, you know, you know, one of those twinks. You know, they called some of you know, those little Asian gay boys. Do you know why I've also backed this? My Uh, name's Ting Tong. Do you you want to know why I've also backed this? Oh, why? Because its initials are TT. Oh, yes. (laughs) That's one of the reasons. Well, or or titanium tip. (laughs) Um, Here we go, boys. Um, Let's go. Ray. Oh, Luke. Yeah, good is he. Uh, And I love him. Great man himself. The great man himself, Woodsy, the captain, Barney, the serial killer. We still don't know. Sure. Barney, seriously, he's been in his hole since Netflix have put that Jeffrey Dahmer. He's just binged it like 36 times. 
the chieftain was gone. And then, of course, the great man comes back. And then the chieftain's back again. We're all here. So, Rach, here she goes. Hi, how are you going? I'm back. The chief is back. Um, had last week off. Yep. And uh, thank you, everyone, for their kind thoughts. Um, this week I'm doing um, race six at Flemington, the first leg of the body. Uh, my numbers are one, six, 14, and 15. A um, little bit about the horses. Number one, Jack and Knox. Uh, has one of this distance familiar um, jockey, which is Damien Lane on board. Uh, put that one in there. Uh, number six uh, is Venus Notchos. Venus Notchos. Thanks, my name. Mount it properly. Um, Craig Nerd on board. Mm -hmm. um, and also working his way up, working up to 1200 meters. Uh, then I've got number 14, Cool and Gatter. Bit of fucking Alfred Hitchcock there with the birds. <laughs> What's going on in there? Uh, they, she, they've, got, they've got them on the balcony. Oh, right. I think she's in the Gold Coast, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Right. So they've got a bit of nature there, Tony. Nature. Yeah. yeah yes. Okay, one at this distance. Uh, that one's got Craig Nerd on it. Um, normally, James McDonald's is on, on it, but um, we can't write everything. And then, of course, I've got... Um, yeah. He's riding 37 out of 37, Rach. He can ride everything. <laughs> like he's on it. He hasn't <laughs> finished. <laughs> Number 15, which is uh, James McDonald, in mm. secret. Mm. Uh, so he's the hot favourite, so you definitely must put him in. Mm. Uh, and has ran this distance as well. Mm. Can James McDonald do it again? Can't win them all, or oh, can he? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and yeah, all the best. And uh, see you online. Thanks. Good idea. Good idea. Pezza. Yeah. Yes. Hang on. You're mute. Mute. On or whatever. Uh, what happened, mate? Sorry, mate. What? That, no, Bono, Bono, whatever the the six in this race. Yes. Have just... you seen the fo Have you seen the form it brings in? Not really. Yeah, have a good look at the form that it brings okay. in. Who it ran, who it was placed beyond. All right, all right. Yeah. And um, and then you know, assess maybe if if it's yeah, lost and running. Yeah, yeah, good horse. But um, go back a bit. Giga kick. Mm. There, Giga. bang. That's the <laughs> one. Look how uh, close to Giga it got. Look how close it got to Giga. Yeah. Good form. No, this this race is uh, this race is probably the best race of the day. If you're gonna if you're gonna put this race up in any yeah. race straight, this is the race of the day for me. This is it's a great race. This is exposed yep. form. This is yep. uh, group horses. This is horses that are in their grand final or uh, at the end of their campaign. This is a great race. It really is. Yeah. yeah. Well, on Casey Fogden's taken best of Bordeaux down to this race mm. on a, a horse that loves to lead and he's drawn 17. Mm. Yep. Um, yeah, but it's it's also backing up. Do you do you go with the backing up? I mean, you know, are they just race. there for a little? Are they there for just a paycheck? First it was, ten. If it was drawn in, I think it'd be four dollars. Mm. You reckon on its yeah. last start run as well? Yep. Wow. Okay. Well, That's great. So, yeah, can it, so, so can it win or it can't win? Not from 17, no. Do you think Cool and Gat is going to get the trip? You think Cool and Gat is going to get it? Yes. She's really? due, isn't I she? do. Oh. I think it'll get the trip. Really? Yeah, I think I think I think Rach got it right with the four because mm. Jack and O is going to get this. There's going to be a bit of speed in this race, right? Mm. So Jack and O is going to suit it perfectly. Mm. Just quite right. So be it. Cool and Gatter. Mm. Absolutely. And we saw in secret um, in Sydney mm. last start, there was nothing wrong with its run as well. Oh. And for J-Mac to be going from one to the other, mm. it's not a bad leading. It's Tough race, too. great race. Great race. Yeah. Love it. What's your pick? Hey, you know, um, Sajardin. What's your pick in this? No, I just think oh. Sajardin won like a good thing last start as well. Oh. 23 skins. Yeah. yeah. So, it's no, it's a great race. Yeah, Pess is in the derby. I've got the derby this week, so it's pretty easy for me. I've got one, two, and four. I've got Mr. Maestro as a bit of a Rafi because it's got that Geelong sort of leading to the 
uh, the Geelong Classic form, that which leads into the Derby traditionally. Um, they can either run through Mooney Valley or they run through Geelong. So I always throw in the Geelong winner, which is Mr. Maestro. But then, of course, you've got Berkeley Square this time as well. And, of course, you've got Jay Mack on the toppy. And uh, we know we, it's an all-exposed form, Marto. We all know how good they're going. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just a bit worried about what's your horse name, Marto? Top. Sharp and Smart. Thank you. Now, Sharp and Smart, it's ran two weeks in a row. Yep. And then it's running again. And this time yeah. is the grand final. This is the big race. Is it the big race or was last week the grand final? Yeah, you kind of wonder. If you maybe kind of wonder, don't you? you Interesting. Kind of wonder. You know, the way it ran last week, I don't know. It was, geez, it was a tough win. It was a great it was, win. And actually, both of them are tough wins. So I don't know. Maybe mm. if they haven't busted him, then he's really going to push Berkeley Square. Yep. No, I, I'm, I'm with you, mate. I, can I can I ask yeah. something? If, if, if Mr. Maestro hadn't drawn the barrier that it has, mm. is it like... In the in the money as well, like favourite wise, is it is it a three horse race favourite wise from from a punter's perspective? Because Mr. Maestro has done everything right, and Absolutely. if you look back at to to the New Zealand form, I mm. mean, it had raced against that. What's the horse called, Mutter? Mm. Sh- sharp and sharp and smart. Thanks. Yeah, I'm just saying it because. <laughs> um, but they 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 met met each other over there, and I think Mr. Maestro had its yeah. measure then. Yeah. So very interesting. Very I'm interesting bit, race. I'm a bit worried, Tony, about pericules, the the blue battlers, the five, no. Um, no. No. Um, because William Buick's on, and obviously he's there to ride that horse for the oh. blue battlers. Do you think he's there to ride that horse? I think he is. I think he, that's his main ride for the day in the derby. You would think, right? That, that probably is. I, I I sort of agree. I reckon if Mr. Maestro hadn't drawn the car park and mm. it was drawn in. You know, drawn well in. I, rec- I reckon uh, it's a big chance. Uh, it would have been a big chance, but I think it's too far out. Well, I, I think so, yeah, because he does like to go forward. Um, um, it's, Pericles yeah. probably should have won. I don't think it's going to get the 2500. And I'm going to look well, like an idiot next week if it does, <laughs> because it probably wins. But <laughs> I, I just don't think it can get to it. Like, if you were watching its last run when it's dying over 2000. I don't know. Do they ride it colder? Does Buick bring his magic? I, I, I don't know. I, I, oh. I reckon they. I don't think they ride it colder. I think. I think if this is just me, mm. and I stand to be corrected. Oh. I reckon it could lead. I reckon it yeah. might go out and actually lead. And so. when they battler. get over, yeah, absolutely. Lead. And when they, and when yep. they get over more distance, what the, the tempo of the race tends to slow down a little bit, which might help it, but. I don't know. Do you I'm think, just saying. Do you what think, I think the big jocks are going to let Buick go and sit and sprint in a 25? Yeah. I don't think they're going to. I, I, I think some. Well, some, who, who's some going to take it on? I, who's no, going to take I, it on? Anyone, anyone. Skiffius, Vegeta Sun, man. Anyone's going to take Buick on and go, mate, this is Victoria, mate. You're not going to get your own way up in front like Timmy Clark does up in Sydney. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get his own way. I don't think the Victorian jockeys are just going to let Buick come in and sit and steer. I think because it's a twenty five hundred meter race, they yeah. might because they they they're, they're no, probably going to think a ruffy a ruffy always goes to the front of the derby, like something with no chance. Yeah, yeah I agree. But I, I tend to agree with Taz on this one. I think they're going to run him forward, yeah. and he'll be the one setting the pace. William Bu- William Buick is one of the best staying jockeys in the world. Absolutely, so he knows what he's doing. And I thought Jamie Carr pushed the button a bit early yeah. on him last start. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I'm a bit worried because there's a lot of people tipping him who you sort of respect. And yeah, there are. And then you're like, did you see the last run? Like, uh, I don't know how you can be tipping it when you saw its last run. Like, no, it's just written up 2,500, uh, unless I'm like, got no idea. Yeah. And I'll be very I think the horse will stay 2,500 because of the breeding behind it. Yep. But Sharp and Smart and Berkeley Square, they're just going to be giggling all the way yes. as Mr. Maestro tries yeah. to get yeah. Us, it's good. Well, you know Surely. Maestro, you know Maestro Berkeley and and Shark and Smart are probably going to get it. So, yeah, but, likely, aren't they? I mean, I know that um, Marto tipped Berkeley Square and, and stuff, but Berkeley Square should be five wins. It's that simple. It, mm-hmm. it shouldn't have lost a race. So there's no. nothing to say. And I think, and I think the trainer actually came out when when it first hit the track and said, "This 
is a derby horse. So he declared it then as a stayer. You got so the Ukrainian a king on board in Cancer's Craig. He's on fire. Well, absolutely. Karma. Do the right thing for the world and the world pays you back. There you go. And uh, Tassie's on the 3, <clears throat> 7, 8 and 14. In the next... Um, and I have. I've gone for kissing on all four cheeks. Um, and I would like oh. to think that you blokes will be doing that to me from longer distance. Um, <laughs> that said, look, I think this is a Flemington-type horse. So yeah. I'm prepared to forgive its last start at Caulfield. Yep. Um, the seven, which is Palasapan. Yep. Um, I did like its Caulfield run. Um, yep. So I'm taking it on that. Come down from Sydney. Jeez, so D Lane, it's, 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 it's a so so you think horse. Yeah, it doesn't matter what eight, they are, mate. Nobody. Yeah, thinks the, the, what the, they are. the the eight that you're talking Get to about, the eight. chalet. Okay, the eight. Pricey's just taken over this horse, so it's his first preparation with it. And if I remember correctly, I read somewhere on the internet first up that they were expecting it to produce. It hasn't. Mm. Mm. I don't think stable male is wrong. I just think maybe their timing of it wasn't right. So I'm expecting this. It's got a massive finish. I'm expecting this to be coming home down the outside like a steam train. I'm not saying it's going to win, but given the right set of circumstances, I don't want to miss out on it if it does. And of course, the 14, if anyone's looking for an anchor, if you believe what the pundits say, they say anchor the 14 because this New Zealand horse is better than anything we've seen come over from New Zealand. Wow. That's what they say, and that's why it's, I think, $2.50 at the moment. What do you um, think of Bell Placia? Oh, look, it's a, for, for me, personally, mm. I remember when it was running in Adelaide. Mm. Yeah. Um, so I hate to say it, but Adelaide horses aren't going to win this type of race. Well, it's a tough race. It's, it, its mm. form has been good. Don't get me wrong, but I just can't have it because – it's no, like no, no. that kid. It's like that kid at school that you used to pick on, and then you meet him later on in life, and you used mm. to think he was a loser then, and you meet After him later on in life, and he's still nice. Oh, and you're there's a lot of and ghosts. There's a lot of ghosts in this race, don't yeah. I think Bell Placer Absolutely. has got a problem map in this race too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about yeah. the yeah. toppy? What about the toppy, mate? That's your favourite horse. Yeah, yeah, ice bath. Oh, Tarath is a chance to oh, no. oh, ice bath. I mean, she's six up. She's got to win, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, that's what she usually does, right? Um, no, great race, great race again. Um, really yes. hard to define. But it is a toughie. Mm. It's a toughie. Yeah. Uh, a ghost I mean, Tone, you've taken about a million here, so you. Should oh, be absolutely. Right. Yes. Yeah. It's it's a really difficult race. This. I I reckon it's the toughest race of the day. And if we mm. get if we get to the last leg, well, we've got a chance. Put, right. put it that way, and I think I think you guys will get us to the to the last leg. Um, the favourite Aspura, what is it? How do you say that? Aspura, Aspura. whatever. Yeah, it's a good run. Johnny Allen on board. You know, it's short, but you've got to throw in the favourite. I like the thing that 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 Buick's on mm. the uh, the what is it? Uh, Zapatero. Zapatero. But once again, it's drawn out in the car park. It's drawn mm. out in seventeen. Uh, but the form has been pretty good, so I think it's in there. In there, the chance. Uh, Belusi Babe, a Froggy Ewitt, Bjorn Baker. Can oh, we that's that's me, Ruffy. There, it could it could pop up, float to the top of the settlement ponds at thirty five skins, and uh, we're in for a nice quaddy collect. Uh, well, if Chalet gets up in the third leg at 100 skins, we're... Ooh. Oh, yeah, well, Tassie's got us covered there. Jesus, we'll want to win the last leg. I'm on leg. the next Tassie plane to Melbourne. <laughs> yeah. Go and, uh, have a, in. go and have a bloody Greek 100% ball. alcohol <laughs> drink with the Greek man. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Thrown in the six, uh, John Diva. Well, uh, Jai McNeil on board. It's drawn <clears throat> out in 11 2. You know, like it's a really tough race, but I think Mardo's with me here. Written Beauty. Yep. Written Beauty. Down the Flemington Strait, and I think she's got the right barrier because they want to be on that outside rail. Yeah, it is way out there, though, isn't it? But, you know, it's, J Mac, anybody can get it, get it home. It's a great race tone, it is, isn't it? Mate? Great race tone. There's no bend, mate. There's no bend, but you can go to the and outside. Yeah. Doesn't but matter. the wet track, I think the rail yes. might be chopped up, so they want to be on the outside rail for this last race. She's yeah. drawn perfectly for this one. Absolutely. And the very final one you've got to throw in, Joshua Parr. 
21 skins, very fine wine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's, you know, you could throw in several others too, I reckon. I reckon it's a really tough race, this. You could. Um, Tony Gollan has broken isotope. He reckons it's ready again. Who knows when it's going to pop up, but he said it's ready now. Isotope. Uh, yeah, it's, that, that's another one of my ghosts mm. from way back, you know. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Hey, I don't, mind the, I don't mind the 20 either. That's at 91 skins. I'm a bit like, feel like Taz. It's, it's very, <laughs> very open. But with isotope, what did it, Mark? I don't know. You brought one here last year. Hey guys, we're back. Sorry about that. We always run out of time on Palti because we're too cheap to. Uh, we'd rather put a bet on and actually get a professional uh, Zoom account. But I can use my university account. But I'm just scared that if my university checked to see what I'm doing with my account, you know, at midnight on a on a on a Monday on a Thursday night in Melbourne, uh, you might make them some money, Pezza. Oh, you might, we, we might get a, we might get a few more followers. Yeah, you never know. And, uh, <laughs> I just sort of worry about that sometimes. Um, uh, all right, here we go. We're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. Um, let's just try to make us a little bit bigger because I know Barney loves putting us on the big screen. He loves having us there. Um, so anyway, uh, two, three, four, six, seven, and nine. Now, Marta was just giving us a bit of a rundown on written beauty that missed by a lip last start. She did. She did. Um, I like this entry tone. Um you oh, isotope. Sorry, you're on. You're all yeah. on the isotope. Sorry. Yeah, we were, but that's all right. We'll go. To sorry, Marta. Well, I was talking about isotope a little bit, but you go, Marta, and then I'll follow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't. I like uh, Tone's uh, pick with uh, Written Beauty here. I think uh, with that bit of rain in the track, it's going to chop up down the inside rail. And this uh, straight race for the last race of the day, they're going to want to be on the outside, and that's exactly yeah. where she's drawn. She likes a bit of giving a track, and um, she just coasts along in the middle of the pack and then uh, explodes late. So um, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. But I like it. Uh, yep. Isotope, as yep. you were saying, it trialled well. There's Isotope trialled really, really well. And I remember with um, Golan, he brought one down last year and for one of these premier sprints. I don't know, it was started with a J, some one Yonka. of his Yonka. Yonka. He brought it down and he brought it down. And he thought it was, you know, it's ready, it's ready, it's ready. It didn't win any of anything that he'd had it ready for. But he kept mm. it down here long enough and then it did win yeah. a race. Yeah. At and I just wonder, and I just wonder whether the same sort of pattern is going to happen with Isotope. He brought it down for the big ones. Yeah, maybe this is now an afterthought to get a paycheck to go home with. That yeah, said, I was just reading today you can't that, put them all in. Yeah, I was just reading today that Tony Gollan has declared Isotope is back. He said, I'm not sure if she's good enough, but she is back. Mm -hmm. So she's over her Ooh. problems and she likes a bit of giving the track too. So we'll mm -hmm. see how that one goes. Yeah. She can run second as long as we get one of the winners. Yeah, yeah definitely. I've had, some of my biggest yes. I've had some of my biggest collects in this race. Uh, ever uh, in the last race on Derby Day down the straight because it's traditionally this is your last 1200 sprint yep. time and um, there's a horse from um, I forget the trainer's name Marta who is it Ash and blah blah Yagi or whatever they oh, are Yagi yeah out in Ash way. and bloody the missus the husband wife and there was a Ooh. horse tone called I'm telling you and they would have this uh... first up First up at 40 skins every start for the sprint down this race. And it would place or win. It was just amazing, this horse, I'm telling you. And it needed everything perfect time. It needed speed. It needed, you know, just speed on. And this thing would be dog trotting on the outside rail, just going, he'd be going, let me go on fresh as today, guys. And yeah. he'd just storm down and flog them at around 30, 40 skins. <laughs> Incredible how they got this horse up for every straight race at Flemington. First up, they'd freshen it up just to get it there. And, you know, no one would back it. It was just amazing how many times it won me a quaddy or won me a massive collect. I'm telling you, one of my favourite horses. Absolute pig. Could never win anywhere else. That's why you back that do you reckon. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, why yeah. it is as well. Yeah. It? So it's never, the same, never wins same trainer. Else. Don't know why they would take it anywhere else. They always uh, put down the 1,200, get it to the outside rail and let it go. It was amazing. Good horse. But, yeah, good memories of this race. So um, let's hope we uh, um, collect. Finish on a high. Yeah. Absolutely. Money now, in the time, bank. 
Last yeah. week it was no. This week it's Halloween. I've got a Halloween mask, which I don't know where where I put I thought, it. I've got a Halloween mask. Ha- haven't you got it on now? <laughs> no, no. Oh, sorry. That's what this you is like, like the molded plastic sorry. from the eighties. Oh, sorry, which sorry, mate. Really I'm, I'm, it's really bad. I, I can't see properly. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. mate. Sorry. A bit, late, a bit late for you in it, but um. <laughs> Tone last week, it was like a haunted house, Van Hinkham. Titanium, what was it called? Titanium power. Titanium power. Oh. Just yes. just just falls in at 12 skins. Mm. So the titanium yes. tip, I reckon we have to make a rule. If titanium power is in, that's the titanium tip. That's it. Big boy Roy, he's going in the can. So Big he's boy done. Roy. He's, he's finished. He's like pal. <laughs> Did you see the run? He finished on motherless. He, he went from first to last oh, big boy in Roy. about 50 oh. metres, didn't he? Horrendous. He he's led. He led. He's gone. Yeah, he led. He went from first to last. Yeah. Yep. Um, but but titanium up, power, we missed it, and it falls in at 12 skins. Well done, Tone. Thanks for the heads <laughs> up, mate. Oh, yeah, didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. And then Bella yeah. Nipatino, one of the other beautiful ghosts, uh, just brains him. Wins by Absolutely. Wins the Monocato. Yeah. I don't like Monocato. Like you did, yes, yeah, that's right. Brains and runs to the front, runs away. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I mean, anyway, uh, Tone, here we go. Mate. What do we got? For us, mate? Um, I know the familiar is just going to be knocked over. Uh, it's going to be like a shame <laughs> top spinner, to Daryl Cunnell, and it's going to be three stumps out of the ground with the information he's about to give us. Get oh, ready, yeah. brace you yourself, familiar. Good, brace yourself. Oh. oh, where is Big it? Oh. Oh. Back to yeah. hey. oh. No big boy Roy. No. No big no. boy Roy. No big no. boy Roy. No. Big boy Roy's gone. Yep, so is Bowman. Oh, release the jizz. Here we go. Here we oh. go. Race eight, number eight. Release the jizz. Tazzy, I'll piggyback Tazzy here. I think piggyback this is an absolute Taz. special. <laughs> absolute special. Jesus. What's his name? Orman? He, he is I would say probably one of the honest jockeys up there that are you know, Timmy running around yeah. on these quadrupeds. What about immoral? So, what about Pez's picker Wednesday, the prick? <laughs> <laughs> he wrote it upside down. Oh, he wrote he led it. Well, they're a bit like jockeys are like oh, the luck time reckons he's great. Tuck shop. If you're in luck, you'll get one who rides, you know, they're, they're riding for the owners and the trainers and the putters. But you get the ones who ride like, you know, busted asses, oxygen bandits. They shouldn't be allowed on a rocking horse. Can't but anyway. Catch, can't catch every thought at the moment either. <clears throat> Just want to put that out so there. So hoping uh, what's the name Orman can do it. So this is first up after about 21, 21 weeks. But it had a trial. It had a trial oh, recently oh, uh, wow. at this track. And uh, I think, you know, it goes well first up, you know, commands a bit, uh, you know, a bit of respect. It ran, um, it ran second in, in, in the trial, and that was on a, on a good four as well, I think. So, and it's going to be a good four by the looks of it on uh, Saturday. Marto knows about the tracks. Marto, good knows four about farm. Four, so. A good four I eagle farm is probably like a heavy eight. Yeah. That's right. The, the track is I mean, fucking atrocious. Eagle farms like Mooney Valley oh, at right. every cold water. It, it's so horrible. You might be right with the rating, but um, it's it's a cow paddock. <laughs> yeah, it's a cow paddock. It's a, it's an interesting horse. This release the beans because I remember when I did tip it, I tipped it first up as well, and I, admittedly, I think it was up in the weights. When I say up in the weights, up in the numbers anyway, because it's still carrying fifty eight. Looking at this, but. Mm. But I think it was up the top end, so I don't know what, what I can't remember what class of race. But um, the horse has definitely got ability. It definitely can win first up. It's definitely got a good jockey on it. It's yeah. just hopefully um, I mean, I don't it puts it all together on the one day. But, Probably he catch in form too. It's a trainer up there at the moment. Yeah, oh. yeah. Love yeah. The trainer, hate the horse and hate the jock. <laughs> yeah, you only hate the jock because of um, immoral. If you back, did you back his other winner? The no. other one that he had in the first race, Dramatica, he no. rode that a peach, mate. Yeah, no. Don't talk oh, through your hip pocket. It was oh, a great win. Don't talk through your hip pocket. Why not? Why can't you? No. Oh, you can. Oh. You can. 
You said I can't. <laughs> yeah, well, you shouldn't, but you can. Um, <laughs> now, talking about the, the back pocket, that's a nice little segue into Pez's Bush. Tone, Pez's Bush has been, I don't know, it's been like a roller coaster in a way, but it's sort of a roller coaster that started at the top and just continually goes downhill. Yeah, well, it's up and down more No, times it's not up and down, Tony. That's what I'm trying to say. Know. It's up and then it's just gone down. There's no up again. But bit like the yen, you know. That's so, right. yeah, yeah, sort of yeah, a, the yeah. plummeting. Business yen. Bush is depreciating. So now um, the yen, now a, a dollar American gets you blackjack in Japan. It's a dollar yeah. fifty. Six to four. Do you guys do you guys in, in Japan have a subway like all the when the trains go underground and stuff like in the UK and here? Of course. Yep. Well, maybe yep. that's what it is. Maybe you used to be up the top end with all the good trains, and then after a while, you've just had to go, go underground. underground. <laughs> but that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not yeah, but it's say, no, but it's not a roller coaster. When no, you're I'm, underground, I'm saying it's a roller coaster, as in it starts at the top, but there's yeah. never been yeah. another yeah. up. You're on the big floor, but no, no, that's no that's not a roller coaster, mate. You know what that is? An that's elevator. A, that's a yeah, or a cliff jump. A when cliff you jump off a cliff, you just go straight down. Okay, so the pieces pushes a cliff jump. So <laughs> I've, I've gone, I've gone to favourites. I've gone to the things like Taz told me, he gave me some good advice, tone, which had never worked. No, if it did. It did if you had a hundred dollars, what would you Tatsu. put it on? I'm a degenerate. I'll put it on anything. You know, you, I'm like Marto. You broke it up. Give, give me synchronized swimming in the Ukraine at the moment with the fucking shit. I'll go over the top. I'll be packing the, did, the girls. You know. Did you uh, break it up into 10 bets to have 10 bets instead of having one? Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 So anyway, I found one, mate. I've only chosen the toughest race in Australia, which I pumped up. It's oh, Rachel's, not a highway. No, it's Rachel's first leg. Oh, don't worry about the highway. I've got a tip for that. But, I've gone to the toughest Ooh. race, I think, the toughest race in Australia on Saturday, which is the first leg of the quaddy in Melbourne. And yeah, race six, number 17, Say what? Magic. Now, you know what, what I'm doing the quaddy? Wow. You know what I'm doing the quaddy and I'm saying exposed? Holy shit. Paul and Gatter, yes, Paul and Gatter and Jack and O and all, these, all this exposed form, throw it out the window because I've got one for us. This horse was Tommy Tankin like Taz on a Saturday saying how good he is, like my whisper style in the quaddy when we left it out, Tony. Mickey D, oh, yeah. did he just win a big race? Yeah, he did. He just won the Caulfield Cup on the first of May. Is that right? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm pretty sure he wrote his first group. Yes. Scratch from the Graham Melbourne Cup. Love Graham Beck myself. I thought to myself when I saw this Tommy Tankin, on an absolute shit run in Caulfield two weeks ago. Don't worry about Jack and O and all these fucking big races up in Sydney and all these bloody, you know, Everest and Silver Chiefs and all this bullshit. Don't worry about Cool and Getter on the Group 1 under the lights in Mooney Valley. <laughs> worry about Say Magic. And Say Magic from Barry 11, it's going to dog trot and it's going to make its run with Jack and O, but this is going to be Tommy tanking because Mickey D's... Got a little couple of little, what do you know, got a couple of kegs on her. So don't worry, we'll be thumping along. Where's it, where was its win, Pezza? Oh, I don't fucking know. I say it. Because, because I don't know where this horse is from. I've never seen it. Um, no, no, no. You, you, you could have told me that this was in a maiden at bloody um, Benin's up tomorrow. This, and Marto, be this is a black booker. And a black okay. booker means that you back up next time. It doesn't matter what race it lands in. And I'm in 46 skins we're on. And it doesn't matter, 950 the place black on the nose, Pez. That's what they call me. Bang. He was. Mano, can it win? Of course it can win, <laughs> Mano says. Can it win? I wanted him, I wanted him to say the other thing, Pez. I'm trying to help you. Yeah, it doesn't have it in our quaddy leg. Well, <laughs> if this gets up, your quaddy's busted. I don't care because at 46 kids. Oh, really you selfish be person. You yeah, selfish just individual. Just You're All selfish. About, yeah. Hey, mm. oh uh, you're thinking about uh, you and your return on investment and your units. That's what you're doing, aren't you? You haven't had a winner for 43 weeks. Well, you're thinking this, if I pick a 45 this 100 one, bucks is going to get me out of the pit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're continuing the streak. Sorry, Pazza. Nick. Nick. Oh, shit. Anyway, um, 
if you like well, it's coffee an and you want a couple of bucks, um, if you're in front on the day, which is bloody hard on a derby day and Sydney having all its marketing expertise, have a little, save a little something on the 17, same magic. Because I tell you what, if there's any speed in the race, which there is, old Jack and Owen, same magic, are going to be making the same run. And same magic at 55 and a Jack and Owen at 57. We're going to cut the kegs and we're going to be thumping home, put the nose down on the line, Mickey D, bang. One week he wins the Caulfield Cup and the next week he wins the um, whatever this fucking is. I've just got one thing to say. Yes. Taz and Marto, can you remember Stephen Bradley? <laughs> Bradbury. Oh, yeah, he Brad fell over. <laughs> we were the no, last one. So they all fell they over all in fell front of him. They over because they were Tommy tanking at the front. That's and right. There he goes, gold medal. Gold yeah. medal. How good's that? This yeah. is, if that happens, that you're going to get so much bloody flat. You're going to get more flat than over bloody Dresden <laughs> during World War Two. If that gets up and puts us out of the quad in the first league, man, oh man, if people didn't back it, you know, you went, oh, oh, you're going to be in strife, big boy. You're going to be in strife. Do you know what? I'm, I'm scared, Pezza. You know why? Yeah. I'm legitimately scared because. Yeah. Yeah. If it doesn't win, it's... if it doesn't win, it could be good for our quaddy. Yeah. Right. But then if we don't get our quaddy and it doesn't win, <laughs> we, we've we've made Pulte poorer because they would have had two bets rather than just one. Oh. <laughs> so I hope we either get the quaddy or this thing wins. It's it's one motto. I hope you haven't done any yeah. form on this horse, obviously. No. But um, it's the Coolmore, Coolmore Park studs, which all sort of leads into uh, if you become a colt or a gelding. Um, don't worry about that, Marto. It has one on the Pactum synthetic. Oh, wow. <laughs> Gee whiz. So you, so you picked it over the Flemington soft. Yeah, so. yeah. Don't worry about Jack and yeah. Owen and all these big Tommy Tankers and Quill and Gather. <laughs> Pactum <laughs> synthetic. Just, just Way to go. Didn't Wayne go the pull the win on that as well? Well, you know, Mickey D gets run the Caulfield Cup on Durston at 20 skins. I know it's got the polish of Chris Waller, but don't think Graham Begg's not up to this uh, platform. Don't you worry about that. Way so, to go, Paula, Pezza. Way to go, Paula. I think it won on the um, Packenham Synthetic as well. I think it's the only one on the Packenham Synthetic because mm. it always so, runs So this on. one, this this has got a really good form line. Mm. <laughs> it's a good <laughs> find. Well done anyway, mate. We but can hang shit on you as much as we like, but if it, it, if it, it wins, really, we're It was we're silent. really stiff last start, mate. Like, really stiff. Like, stiff right. in the tank. Stiff to so, our six. And, and, and instead of instead of winning last start, we're probably really around 20 skins, we're getting the price. Well, yeah, if I say something was really stiff last start, I'd say it runs second or third and just missed because it got, yeah. it got cut, chopped out. Yes. But you can't see it last start. But, Marto, well, it went for more runs than Cliffy Young. How many, <laughs> how many lengths was it beaten, Pezza? Yeah, oh, under two. Under okay. two. Yeah. Under right. two lengths. Yeah. Yeah. But when it won at Packham Synthetic Tone, it won by a nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh now I'm really confident. Didn't now I'm really six. confident. <laughs> how did you find it? So oh, you've okay. literally just gone... Mate, gone the, the way this mind works, mate, out. it's just... It's, an, it's like a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. I just want to, a couple of things before we go because sorry about taking so long with uh, that tip because everyone's just ridiculing me but time will wait for Saturday that's when it all counts um, I don't mind a horse at Eagle Farm keep this under your hat don't let it out oh hang on are you going to say something magic right now no uh, no, we don't no, want to lose uh, the price. We don't want to lose the price okay. of 46. All right. We want the familiar to get on and don't lose the price yeah. here. Uh, this horse is, I want to write this down. This horse is starting at $1.50. Yep. <laughs> Keep it under your hat. It's a horse from Rockhampton, the, the, the king. It's called Oh, Shaboom. yes. Um, yes. I'm pretty sure it's Eagle Farm race six. Yes. Is that right? Race seven? Race the, the sprinting race. This is the one that runs time that we were talking about. Race seven. It should have run, yeah. Uh, race seven, uh, I'll give you the, hang on. 
Uh, race seven, number four, Shinny Boom. This is the horse that we were talking about a couple of weeks ago. Yes. That won by 17 lengths in Rockhampton. And Mardo, this is a horse I was telling you, it's yeah. never not ran under 11 seconds for 200 metres. Oh, wow. okay. It breaks the clock. Yeah. Yeah. Like, As it, 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 you know, it's... It, it, uh, you know, if it can get to 1,200 and it can continually run under 11 seconds, for two, it may nothing in the world will ever beat this horse. Just yeah, the clock right. says. Like, nature ship will never get close to this horse. If it They've can, already it had offers on it and everything. They've already had offers on it and everything, Pez. It's a freak. They've, they've, they've knocked back. Yeah, it is. But let's just see. If something tries to put a bit of pressure on it, but you're right, a dollar fifty. It gets me. Um, it gets me this week. Jesus Christ! <laughs> there's some good racing around the place, though, because I've even um, had a look at the Gold Coast, and yeah. there's all sorts of good horses everywhere. It's good well, racing right around the country. Marty, I was going to tip one in race four in Melbourne uh, called Pavitra. Pavitra. Uh, Joshy Paz uh, got the ride, and um, it's a Sydney horse. Loves to get the front and lead. And if Joshi Parr rates it in front, which he can, um, it's probably not a bad bet around seven skins. But I, I'm interested in yeah. G Boom at $1.50 just to see if he can bring that rocky time to Eagle Farm on the goat's track. And, of course, yeah. the big one, the Golden Chief. Or what would he call it, Marto? I don't know. What is it? What's the $10 million? Golden Eagle. The Golden, the Eagle. Golden Eagle. Okay, yeah. I don't mind. Um, of course, I wish I win it around 11 skins. Um, sure I don't who did you used to say always wins the last race? Um, oh, Kiwi in, Sweet. in Queensland. No, in Queensland. Which jockey always used to win the last oh, race? Geez. Jimmy Burn? No. Uh, Was it not Larry Cassidy? Larry, Larry Cassidy wants... always wins race seven. Seven. Oh, I was at race seven, so mm. I got the wrong race. Okay. Mm. Sorry, because I thought you always used I nearly went with a fister um, oh. being the last race. Um, Linthorpe Lad, I think it was, right. but I wasn't sure. So just as well, I didn't because it's race nine, I think. Right. If it's Larry on race seven, then I've got it wrong. Mm. Um, it's some good racing, but B. Vorster tomorrow night, mm. Mooney Valley, have a look at him. Two yeah. rides. Okay. Um, it doesn't the happen often. Love it the doesn't goal. happen often, does it? Well, I'm going to tell you one. I'm putting a line through yeah. this week. Yep. Flemington, oh. race one, number race 12, six. Pungo. Race six, number no. 17, same magic. <laughs> race one, number 12, Pungo. Okay. I'll put through it. So everybody get on. <laughs> what price race, is it, Marta? Is it Flemington? Race right. one. He's three dollars fifty. Um I think Ew. he can win. I just think oh, he should be around a four dollar mark. That's my biggest um, bet of the day. Yes. Outside Sabre Jack. That's it. Well, there's a bit yeah. more exposed form around this. So I think I don't think it can win. Perfect. Well, Thanks, I'm gonna Marta. do you know what okay. I'm, I'm gonna back this twice. I'm gonna back <laughs> it before the jump and then I'm gonna back it in the Wait, run. That's what we do. <laughs> No, I tell you to lay it, and you back it, and you win, and I lose out. <laughs> and on Labrokes, I'm going to double my winnings. I'm going to, I'm going to double up. Race one, number twelve, Punga. I'm, I'm on for the double your winnings, on laddies. Okay. Thanks, uh, I've yeah, got sure. one. I've got one. Taz, time, please. I've got the trifecta oh. from hell. Oh. If, if you're game to put your money on, race six up at the dog track at the farm. Right. You've got uh, the one yellow brick. Yep. The four, which is an absolute, it was an absolute shocker last start. One of the uh, titanium right. tips, the Sue Sayer. Right. Sue Sayer, number four. Oh, yes. And I did another one of Pez's uh, turds is the seven, <coughs> Honky Tonk Diva. So you've got the, there's your trifecta or quinella right. or whatever. Right. And that Sue Sayer, surely that run was, was can't be though. repeated. No, no, it was that a terrible was one that day. Shock, I wanted. Yeah, it was terrible. Um, it it's another be, race. I'm not backing it though. I'm not backing it, but but I reckon um, that, that could be the trifecta. Oh, thanks, I'm going to box four. Tone, I'm going to box four in that race. I'm going to and I'm yeah. going to do it, and I'll put the ticket up. I'm going to back those right. three, okay, and I'm going to take. I think is Brookhaven or Bookhaven or something like oh, that book, in this race. Yes, yes, big chance. I'm going to yeah. include that one as well. So I'm going to take those four because I did when I was looking around everywhere. I noticed that particular oh. race. So I'm one, take two, four. four, seven. That's and I reckon one. you'll get it, Tess. Yeah. I reckon that Sue say it can't run as badly as, as no. the last start. It was a All shock. Right. Right. I'm going to jump on this as well because this is the second time I only give tip to trifecta. 
And the last time you did it, Tony, it paid on WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Tipped it in three. All 300 and something paid, that's right. Yeah. 24 yeah. skins. At the yeah. ball, one ball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's worth the $6 outlay just to see if it happens. Yeah. Talking yeah. about a $6 yeah. outlay, if you got Half six good. bucks, three, three, each play on the same magic. <laughs> are you gonna let are you gonna let the Pulte familiar know what a treat we've got in for them over the weekend? Oh yes. Stick around Pretty because good. the magical man Marto is coming back and we've got Tone who's just like a he's like a you he's like a hound dog. He is he's just sniffing around. He loves the UK Tone. Doesn't know Jamie Spencer or William Buick or anyone's in Australia, but he knows us UK horses like no one else. And Mato and oh, Tone uh, over the top of the UK, the 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 what do we call them? Uh, Taz, the invaders. Uh well, or the the, the I don't know mm. the, the I don't know. I don't know. I was oh, going to call them patriots, but they're not invaders. Call them whatever you like, mate. Call oh. them tourists, the yeah. new Australians, whatever you want to call them. They the are the invaders. Yeah, because <laughs> they're all sort of they're all sort of going to stay here, aren't they? Really? Yeah, they are. Yeah, the they new are. Australians. <laughs> And, and Taz, is, he's, a, he's a bit over the UK as well, but Pez, well, he's tipping same magic against, um, you know, probably the best fucking four-year-olds you've ever we seen. We had a bit of a, a, bit of a Three-year-olds shock Three-year-olds you've ever seen in Australia. But what's that? Had a bit of a shock overnight in the UK. Maybe uh, Mardo might know this horse. I don't know whether Taz knows it, oh. but definitely a Japanese omen bet. Mm. I've, I don't know this horse, but I do now. Oh. The horse's name, Pezza. It's called Tangent. Tangent, yes. Which where? What are we? Fifteen minutes away? Ten minutes yeah, away? The downtown area of Fukuoka is called Tangent. That of course it wins at eight to one. Perfect. Yep. Well, was it the one that the is it is it Callan? Is he a jockey over there in the UK? Like overnight last night? Did you see him? Uh, he was yes, in. A, he was in a. Yeah. He, he, he rode one out, um, and he thought it only went. For one lap, oh, and he wrote it to the. Yeah, and you know what? He only got twelve. I think he got twelve meetings or twelve weeks suspended. Oh, it's unforgettable. Um, it was last night, I think, in Chester. Was it Chester last night? Uh, yeah, Kempton. 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 And he, he oh, rode. No, it was Kempton. Last one. He rode this winner test, this tangent. Oh, so he so you got that excited? You probably forgot about <laughs> this one. What a classic. <laughs> When they go yeah, off a lap early, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just... pretty sure Mickey D did that a couple of months ago at Cranbourne. But anyway, <laughs> he's on same a jeep. Yes. Don't worry about that, Durst. <laughs> so, what's the yeah. treat we've got, Pezza? The treat is uh, <clears throat> hopefully Sunday night we're going to put out a show on YouTube, which we did last year with great success. We have most views ever. Um, was the Melbourne Cup preview show where we put a line through the whole field, basically. And we look for a winner. And last year, Mo, we did put a line through our favourite horse in very elegant. Oh my God. But don't Taz worry, did. don't worry. Taz got the trifecta. I did. <laughs> but you know what? You know, you know what I like though? This is why this year we're gonna get it right. Mano's leading us into that. <laughs> He's leading us with his can't win and it wins. Oh. Can't win, write it off, it wins. He's gonna tell us one for the for the cup day again, yeah. like he did with very yeah. elegant, which we all agreed to. Can't yeah. win and it wins. So yes. Mano, it's so good to have you back. Appreciate because you're really you're really helping us out with getting some money for the but for the family here. You've got to know when Mano's yeah. been really, really sure, bro. You're gonna you know, <laughs> you're gonna be well, real. I was sure for two weeks in a row and they both won. And I'm sure this week the Pungo <laughs> loses. So guess what? It wins too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if that Pungo, really if that Pungo you wins, are right. Mate, you're three for three on your car. It's amazing. <laughs> you're the most, yeah, like, you do the best reverse lay service we've ever seen. Like, that'd be awesome. uh, uh, it'll become your tipping service again, Marto. It'd be awesome. <laughs> no, no. Um, but, um, uh, Sunday night, we should have a borderline through it, uh, Melbourne Cup, where we concentrate just on the one race. We don't do a quaddy. We don't look at any other races around Australia. We don't do a thing, Tone. We, all we do is go through the field and we think, can it win or can it not? And we put a line, yes. put a big red line through it, like we did not do very elegant. But it doesn't matter. It's all about what we think. And uh, hopefully it might steer a couple into uh, putting a line through it. A, a big back. Lines, you know, back in a few, following a few in. You never know. So mm. Sunday night, get ready, brace yourself.
Tom, yeah, and share that Otto, effective you guys. Huh? Well done. Yep. All right, boys, thanks very much. Sure Peter, can I ask you one thing? Oh. I, I've got a little joke I heard the other day. Oh, shit. I, I just, I, you know, we, we, just to end it this way, when is a, when is a black dog oh, not shit. black? Oh, shit. Mm. Don't let Does anyone know? No, no, no. When is a black dog not black? When it's a when greyhound. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there Jeez, we go. Thank God we didn't let Tony answer that. <laughs> oh, I was gonna. <laughs> no, you don't want to know me answer. We would have been um, off you, good, mate. <laughs> Very good. Um, anyway, uh, I thought, I thought that was funny when I heard it. Do, um, <laughs> please follow us in, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. It helps us a lot. Um, when we get to 100 viewers, mate, when Say Majik wins at 46 skins this week, I'm out of debt. I'm in front. <laughs> um, so we get to 100 subscribers, we're going to put our um, um, our, our uh, how much Result. it results. Yep. That's very much for that word. And uh, uh, preliminary final day, grand final day's Melbourne Cup, as it always is. Uh, remember to put a line through it or get over to Facebook and follow us in on the banter and the bullshit. On, uh, and share, share, share the page. Share, share with everyone. Share. And, and share. share your tips. Share your mail. Share all your bloody dodgy country guys, uncles. I see what you're all on. Yep. See how many are back and against us and still winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. remember, Squirt is around and uh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's on fire. Oh. <laughs> you know, he, he must be the richest man in the world because he puts 50 or 100 bucks on fucking things I wouldn't. 26 to 1 and they come yeah. up and win. Jesus. Yeah. Anyway, get over there, do it. Uh, Taz, thanks very much. Marta, always lovely to see you, mate. Thanks very much for taking the time. I'm happy to come back. The tone, thanks, mate, for all your hard work. And um, Taz, sorry, mate. It's only <laughs> one o'clock in the morning. Oh. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll get a few hours sleep. <laughs> it's Friday tomorrow. You only work half a day anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. Friday's my longest day, actually, because oh, I end yeah. up doing long hours. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Yes. It's all right. All right. Put a line through it. Good luck. Hello. Good night, Jess. Good night. Good night, boys. Good night, everybody. Yeah.